guys, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is David Savacha. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And also, right next to the subscribe button, it's also this little bell icon. Um, where is it? Hold on, give me a sec. Ah, there you go. If you don't mind, can you just tap it for a little bit? That way, every time when I post a new video, you get notified. Otherwise, I'll just be making video for myself. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm gonna show you guys three easy way how to cook conch. If you don't know what a conch is, this is a conch right here. It's basically a big sea snail. They are very popular in the Bahamas. So if you have a chance to go down to the Bahamas or any Caribbean island, be sure to try them. The first time that I actually saw a live conch was when I was in Shellham, Mexico. I was just snorkeling and I saw this big shell down on the bottom and you know, I was being curious so I had to dive down and get it. If you want to know more about Shellham, be sure to check out my video right here. It's one of my favorite places to go to. Just check it out and you see why. The first time that I have live conch was when I was in Isla Mujeres, which is the uh, woman island. It's basically a small island near Cancun, Mexico. I can still remember like it was yesterday. Uh, we got to the island, you know, we were hungry, so we looked for this restaurant. It was in a random restaurant. Actually, it wasn't even a restaurant, it was like a small shack. They have a little table on the sand, and then, you know, you can just dig your feet into the sand and stuff, kind of like Mr. Sancho's. All my friends, they were getting like fried fish and shrimp. But I saw a comp on the menu, so I was like, you know what, let me try that. And I'm so glad I made that decision because that comp was so delicious. It was grilled, which is a hint of garlic. It was so good that I actually got an order to go. And here's a photo of me eating it that night, and I'm sorry about the image quality. Just eat this. Okay, back. So after that night, I became a conch addict. So every time when I get a chance to go down to the Caribbean, I would always look for it. I got to try the conch salad in 2013 in Nassau. And also within the same day, I also got to try the fried conch. <laughs> Two years later, when I was in Aruba, I got a chance to try the conch saute with calamari and olive, and that was also delicious. So being a conch addict and having to get your fix every two years, that's a problem. We don't have live conch here in Houston, Texas. They sell something called conch meat in H Mart, but you know, this is not conch. It's just a small snail. I did find a sushi restaurant that have it on their menu, but they serve it sashimi style, and you know, I don't know. When I had it, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that sweet, it was just okay. I mean, I did ask the chef to grill it, but you know, it, was, it wasn't it was the same. So I kind of gave up on my fix into the other day. I was at the Fiesta near the NRG Stadium, you know, with the Texan play. I was browsing through the seafood department and in the frozen section, I saw wild conch meat. My eyes went like this. And I know they were legit because they say wild conch from Belize. So I grabbed as much as I can so I can make this video today. So are you ready? Let's go, AKA Vominos. Each one of these packages costs about 10 USD and they are ready to eat. You don't have to bang on the shelf to get them out or clean them. All right, so we're gonna let these thaw out and then when we come back, we're gonna rinse it with salt water and then we'll be ready to go. Let's go grab some supplies from H Mart. We're gonna need some bell pepper, some ginger, some lime, Man, these are expensive. Three for a dollar. The Fiesta usually have them for 15 for a dollar. Some scallion. And I'm gonna stop by my father-in-law house to grab some lime leaf. You will see why I need them in a little bit. All right, so uh, after a few hours, we are going to wash this and then uh, in, in the salt water. Uh, still kind of frozen. You know. Hopefully by the time we're done. Woo, look at this. Ooh. You see that? That used to be in this. Yeah. So you wanna check it out? Get a little water. That's how they do in uh, the Caribbean, huh? I'm gonna wash this uh, let it soak with some water. Okay. That's so. 
while we are waiting for the conch to soak in the salt water, let's go start up the grill. And while we wait for the grill to start, we're gonna go and make the sauce. All right, so now we're gonna make the sauce to dip. So it's gonna be the same fish sauce, except we're just adding ginger and more Thai bell pepper. I'm just gonna throw some of this ginger in here. And the chili in there also. Oh, I hope Brian can take this. Okay. I'm gonna grind up. Roll it. Yeah. Then, power. I'm gonna cut some of this uh, lime leaf up. Make it like Vietnam style. All right. And the ginger and chili. Oh man. Oh man, look at that. Woo! Woo! And then we're gonna sprinkle some lime leaf on top. Okay, so the first dish that we're gonna make is the uh, conch ceviche. All right, we're gonna cut the egg now. So professional. Oh, I hope this tastes good. And then a little side. Okay, if anything, we just waste one piece. It's no problem. Just dive right in and pray it tastes good. <laughs> and put some in here. Here. I'm gonna throw in some uh, bell pepper. And let's see if we can get the same reaction. Some tomatoes. Onions. Maybe some more tomato. Let's squeeze in some limes. Just throw in the, the salt too, right? Yeah. Some more limes. More limes. And mix it up. There's a lot of lime juice in there. Lots of lime juice. Hopefully it'll cook and kill everything. And then we're gonna add some salt. Well, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. We're gonna add some sriracha on top. First bite. I think I'm gonna fill it too much salt. <laughs> Add some uh, lime in. So the second dish we're gonna make is gonna be conch sauteed with garlic and onion. Put some oil in there. Just a little bit, not too much. Throw some garlic in here. Stir it around. Oh, yeah. Then put this whole thing in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Smell it. I'm right, gonna throw some onion in. Cut it into smaller pieces. Add some salt on there. A little bit. And then gonna add some pepper on top. Heat. Oh man. 
Go ahead, Brian. So that won't be lying. <laughs> what do you think? It's actually pretty good. Huh. The last and final dish is the grilled kung. I think we're ready. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, it's hot. Ooh. 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 Conk stick. Ooh. Oh man. Alright, let's go inside. So here we go guys. We have grilled conk, sauteed conk with onions and garlics, and conk ceviche. Alright, so we're gonna put some of those onions on the grilled conk. Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> To make this conk review unbiased, I brought in my god brother, Munmu. He doesn't lie, so you can trust him. Alright, first this one try is the um conk ceviche. Eat your own wrist. <laughs> okay. Okay, go for it. Go, go where you no, go. No, you, you go. You go. You closest. Go. Okay. <laughs> put some shoes in there. Okay, I'm good. Okay, Munmu. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Here, here's your thing. I don't know, man. This is... Just a little bit, just in case. You got a permit for this, man? Mmm. <laughs> no, for real, Brian. No, it's gotta be pretty good. Mm. Go ahead, Mamo. I like this so far the best. No, you don't. It's the best. Mmm. fresh. I don't know, Mamo can't say anything. Just, more, just take a pepper after this. Mmm, good. You good? You taste it. The salt from the ocean from this. It's not salt, man. It's just no salt. <laughs> what? It's no salt. Oh, man. <laughs> Fooled me. <laughs> salt from the ocean. <laughs> you say salt from the ocean. Try to be all poetic. It tastes the salt from the ocean. Alright, help me up with the little shot. Just a little bit, Mumu. You good? I'm gonna be good. Okay. Alright, you know me. I gotta do some of the sriracha on top. Yeah. Mix it up a little bit more, make it a little spicy. No mm. more. Right, we need some Hennessy up in here. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, you know, like Bahamas, but you know, it's as good as we get from here. So the next dish that we're gonna try is gonna be, uh, Conk satay with uh, onions and garlic. So uh, let's try it. Uh, you gotta dip with the sauce. Don't get the sauce. Uh, we're, gonna do, we're gonna get some of the sauce right here. What's in here? Uh, it's gonna be ginger, chilies, a little bit of lemon leaf, and fish sauce. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me try this first. Dip it down here. Mm. I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna let you be the judge. I'm gonna let this guy be the judge. Alright, man. Alright. You're up. Get, I'm up. Get, get, get the sauce. Alright, I'm gonna put it on the top here. Okay. Just a little bit. You didn't know this, but I snuck a piece earlier <laughs> <laughs> without the sauce. Now I know. So did I. Taste <laughs> I went too much without the sauce. Be, be honest, man. You, you don't have to be. You don't have to lie on camera or anything. Mm. 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 Ooh. Be honest, it's like man. it's like tender with some texture, saltiness. Okay, Mr. Food Critic. 
<laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get another one. <laughs> so where do you think the salt came from? <laughs> the ocean, man. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Sauce in. I like it. It's not too chewy. It's just right. But uh, credit to the sauce because with this, the dipping sauce has to be good. The sauce is very good. So I'm gonna give it a seven. <laughs> okay. It's very good. Okay. <laughs> we saved the grilled conch for last, and before we can eat it, we have to cut it up into smaller pieces. All right, I'm gonna try the first grill. Mm. I'm gonna try this piece right here. Looks like steak <laughs> of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Wow. Be honest. No need to lie. This is more tender than the saute. <clears throat> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like in between the ceviche and the saute, this is right in the middle. You need some more uh, onion on top? No, I'm good. You good? Yeah, this is. You can taste the smokiness too. I'm gonna try two. First one, you just eat without it, without the sauce. Oh. The second one. I'll try the sauce, so. This is definitely chewier than the other three. Men say tender, you say chewier. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I got the, I got the, the You got the bad piece. You no, got the edge I, piece. I got the, you got the edge. I got the edge. The men got it. You should get this piece right here. The inner, yeah. Oh. yeah. Stick from the sea, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Mamu Chan. Is it, right? Mm. 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 Right? It depends on the piece you get. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Ceviche, number one for me. That's a definitely number two. So it's really good. Well, it's close to number one. Let me, let me taste it. Yeah, it's number one. I like the lime. Um, Saute, need the dipping sauce first. It's all, all pretty very good. I like ceviche a lot though. And grill con. Dipping with the sauce. Mm. Why are you doing here? Mm. <laughs> Why Let's go over again. It's up uh, our own style. Mm. Oh yeah. Chewy? Okay, but no, no, tender. Tender? <laughs> <laughs> Smoky and delicious. Oh yeah. Thank you so much if you stayed to the end. I know this video was super long, but I feel like I couldn't chop it down anymore. And just in case you were wondering, none of us has stomach issues after eating this meal. So you're good to go. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you soon.